session is a structured conversation where students entirely lead the conversation and teachers really just sit back and make notes. They also have a set of agreements that make it clear that it's the class's uh, collective responsibility to have this conversation, to build on the ideas of others, and to keep it going if it likes. And what I really liked about it was the fact that it offered a very much a model for students to adhere to, and the sense that if you have a very structured discussion, it's actually more freeing. Everyone knows what's expected of them. What inspired me to use Harkness in the classroom is to really get students speaking French in the classroom, and also to build their confidence to do so. I think the protocols really uh, did help with, uh, with the confidence piece because they did know what was expected of them. One of the frequent expectations for English is that oral communication piece. So often we think of that as giving speeches, but really one of the most important things is students to be able to speak in a group and to be able to do so in a considerate way, one that allows space for everyone. It's also a really great community builder for the classroom because students come to see each other as models of learning. I feel that the Harkness discussions have really helped the students feel comfortable speaking French and confident speaking French and they've really uh, felt a sense of accomplishment after a discussion. Some of the challenges in the French class has been speaking in front of a group, uh, especially in a French-speaking context. What I've done to overcome that is really start small, start in smaller discussion groups, reflect on that, and then uh, slowly grow uh, to eventually get to a full class discussion. At the same time, we have students who are so enthusiastic that they kind of dominate the conversation. The students are able to see how often they speak and their types of contributions, whether they're interrupting, and then self-correct in that way. Some of the advice I would give would be to start small, give them time limits, and then don't save them. So for the first uh, couple times you do it, you might be sitting there in silence for a little bit, and that's how they learn that they're the ones who need to continue the conversation. 